Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to my top 5 games of the year video, which consists of games that I played this year. I will count down from number 5 to number 1, and these games will be the games that I had the most fun with, and may even be games that were not released this year as new release games. So here we go, number 5. Rome 2 takes the number 5 spot on my list. If this was worst 5 list for 2013, then Rome 2 most probably would have been on that list. However, after many patches and improvements, the game is solid and is what it should have been on release day. I've had the pleasure to finally play through a completed campaign, which I wasn't able to do within the first few months because of all the bugs. If you love Total War, then Rome 2 may just be the game for you. Number 4. So, number 4 is Tomb Raider. I thoroughly enjoyed Lara Croft in this one. I thought they captured her vulnerability perfectly. It was great seeing her grow throughout the game, and it was also nice having a little Easter egg at the end of the game with her trademark pistols. Overall, story was great and well written, gameplay was solid, and graphics were very good. Number three, DayZ is number three on my list. The main reason for this is because of how batshit crazy the players of DayZ are. In my very first play session of this game, I got followed by a guy with an axe who chased me halfway across the map just to help teach me the controls and share some beans with me. We then went off hunting together before he left me get eaten by a zombie. The game is so random that it's unreal. Even though it's an early access game, I think I can say it's probably one of the best early access games on the market. And the good thing about that is it's only going to get better as the game keeps getting tested and patched. Number two, The Wolf Among Us. I had the pleasure of playing through every episode of this game with my girlfriend and we both loved it. Bigby Wolf is a fascinating character that you can either play as a loyal sheriff of Fabletown or go completely off the rails and go bad cop mode like I did when I played through the game. His interactions with the other Fables was great to watch and the story was dark and gritty all the way through. If you're a fan of Telltale Games, then I highly recommend this one. Before we get to number one, here are a few honourable mentions. Crusader Kings 2, Telltale Games Game of Thrones, Telltale Games, Tales from the Borderlands, Dragon Age, Inquisition. Okay, number one, and that is Far Cry 4. This game was probably the game I enjoyed the most this year. I certainly had more fun with this than I had with any other game. The amount of random shit that happens is unreal, from hunting badgers to attacking bandits atop a gyrocopter, or just casually charging in on the back of an elephant. The story was great as well. Pagan Min was a fantastic villain who reminded me of the way Heath Ledger played the Joker. Overall, this game takes number one spot for me this year. If there were any games that wasn't featured, it's most likely because I either didn't play it or haven't played enough of it to form a fair and true opinion. Stay tuned to my channel for I will soon be uploading my worst five games of 2014. I've been Dragonheart. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.